After watching this video, Joe Biden is now the President of the United States. For the American people, they believe Biden will restore the soul and the respect of the nation to the world from the disrespect and recent disgracefulness made by his predecessor, now former President Donald Trump. The new president's mission, other than the speeding up of recovery from the pandemic and building back the country better, is to adapt as a pivotal partner to the new geopolitical shape of the world. While here in the Philippines, we have to wait until the next year for that to happen. But we don't have to because this year is where the foundations begin to roll. Just as the new leader of the free world once said, when his superior, Barack Obama, passed the prominent health care reform act back in 2010, it's a big deal. Before I tell the full picture, don't forget to do the LSSP. Please like, share, subscribe, and ring the bell to be alert for our future content. Next year, 2022, is a presidential election here in the Philippines, and it's a big deal. Being a president doesn't simply get the most votes of the people to get the keys of Balacanang and other privileges for six years, but you also get an unwieldy power to utilize in one hand and to destroy in another. It's just like if I trusted the Infinity Gauntlet, but it will be returned to its proper place after the load period. As of this moment, we don't know who will certainly run for that prestigious position, but most of us are beginning to pressure an individual. Anyone can bet or speculate and display their survey figures until October. Why October? More on that in a bit. To run for president, under the Article 7 of the current 1987 Constitution, he must be a natural-born Filipino, must be a registered voter, and must be literate or able to read or write. Also, you have to be at least 4 years old and must be a resident 10 years before election day. Sad to say, one of the sitting president's appointees for this information, she's still too young by 9 days to run for that office. Anyway, from now until May 9, there will be much silence over who will run, but not with the situation we're facing. From that specific day, which is one year before the election, look out for some politicians moving from one place to another for they are running for local or congressional positions. Although this is not the time for the key to the presidency, this is the best time for reflection on the standings of the sitting administration and what legacy he will leave behind to his successor. This will be further divulged on June 30, the start of his final year in office. The final State of the Nation address of the outgoing president before Congress will be on July 26. From that day on, a term-limited politician, other than president, may contemplate going above or below their current position for the next election, or if they have some iota of conscience, retire from public politics. Come the months of August and September, the names of the nominees and its running mates for the 17th president will be disclosed in different places. It can be held physically with strict health protocols or virtually. Back to the question earlier, why do we have to wait for October? Because this is the expected time when the Commission on Elections, COMELEC, opens up the filing of Certificates of Candidacy (COC). They will file at their national headquarters at Palacio del Gobernador in Intramuros, Manila, in a media circus. From there on, the campaign can unofficially begin to get a support base as the official start of campaigning, where TV and radio advertising is technically counted, begins the following February. Bear in mind, premature campaigning from October 2021 to February 2022 is not an election offense. You can check it in on the ex that explainer video in the card at the top. As we said even earlier, we don't know who will be on our ballot papers next year. The best you can do right now is to register to vote. Good luck! And as the famous film franchise in the 2010s once said, may the odds be ever in your favor. If you want to support this channel or my blog, my PayPal is in the description box. Any amount will do. Click our main channel icon to subscribe, watch our recent videos on the top right, or watch some explainer videos at the bottom. Until then, see you next time.